Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to Game Set Live. Today we're taking a look at something a little different. I was, a couple months ago, I was looking across my Lego empire and noticed something similar, something consistent across the board. And uh, by the title, I'm sure you guessed it, there are a lot of Luke Skywalker minifigures. I mean, a lot. I actually looked it up to just to make sure, and there's about 29 Luke Skywalker minifigures, and all I have to say about that is Mark Hamill is quite the lucky guy. I was talking to a couple of my buddies, Star Wars buddies who also like Star Wars Legos, and I said, it's one of my life dreams to have a Star Wars minifigure modeled after me. I think that would be the coolest thing. You could buy the set, have the set, have the minifigure. That'd be the coolest thing. And Mark Hamill has about 29, maybe even more, Luke Skywalker, just Luke Skywalker minifigures. And as we get started today with our Luke minifigures, the order we're going to go in is episodic order, but then also the year the minifigure was released. So I think it'll be kind of cool to see how the figures progressed along the years, and then also maybe some minifigures there may have been a little bit too many of. So to no surprise, we will start out with the Farm Boy Lukes. Oh boy. If you're part of the Star Wars Lego community at all, you know there are, there are a ton of Farm Boy Lukes. And uh, what we're going to start out with is Luke from the Moss Eisley Cantina, set 4501. This set was released in 2004 for a whopping price of $30. Of course, you can see he is still sporting the yellow minifigure color. He's got a nice... Actually, I do really like his legs here. They... Uh, I think they hold up a little better than the other sets do. So needless to say, this might be one of my more favorite Luke minifigures. Of course, or Farm Boy Luke's does not have the dual-sided face, but that is all right, I think, for what this minifigure really is. Next up, we have another Farm Boy Luke from Luke's Land Speeder set, 75173. Released, we take a big jump to 2017. This set was released for $19.99. This one actually does come with a two heads, two-sided face. One more concerned, one more determined, I would say. And he did sport the new hair piece, which I think was pretty cool. And he does have the binoculars as well. And as you can see, the nets on his legs, I don't think they look as good as the other set. But we'll see. Uh, he'll pretty much maintain this same look for the rest of his Farm Boy Luke minifigures. And the next set actually is still in the box. It's Death Star Escape. As you can see, he's still sporting the Farm Boy Luke. However, he does have the lightsaber this time. Same hairpiece, same face, same legs, same everything. Not really surprising, but what can you expect from Farm Boy Luke? And this is this set was actually released in 2019 for $29.99. Next up is Obi-Wan's Hut. Set 75270. 200 pieces exactly. Releasing in 2020 for $29.99. Once again, we have a Farm Boy Luke with a lightsaber. Same brown belt, same legs, same hairpiece, same face. And not really surprising, but once again, we do get another Farm Boy Luke for multiple years in a row, to say the least. And I know you guys may be getting sick of these Farm Boy Lukes, but this is actually the last Farm Boy Luke. He did come with the poncho, which I thought was a really great addition. I'll turn the brightness down a little bit. Great addition, I think. However, surprise, surprise, he's got the same body. I don't think that was a really surprise to anyone. Same body, front and back. He did have the same hairpiece, same head. Not really surprising once again, but, you know, it is what it is. Can't really complain too much. And that actually, this set was another Luke's Land Speeder, uh, released in 2020 for $24.99, and this will actually, like I said, will round out the Luke Skywalker, the Farm Boy Lukes, so we'll run into another set of Lukes here. We will actually jump back in time to 1999. This is set number 7140, released in 1999. We get a very simple yellow-headed Luke. 
one-sided face, very, very plain chest piece with the Rebel Pilot chest piece. And also, for the time, I would say a really cool helmet with the red uh, Rebel insignias and the line down the middle with the little yellow caution, I guess if you want to call it, signs up front, which I thought is really cool. And along those lines, we will jump straight over to the 20th anniversary Lego Luke minifigure, which was the same exact minifigure, except on the back it did say 20 years of Lego Star Wars and did come with the 20th 20 years Luke Skywalker nameplate, which I thought was also really cool. This minifigure did come in set 75259, the snow speed. Nope, I take that back. This set came in 75258 Anakin's Pod Racer for, I believe it was $29.99 uh, back in 2019. Average set, but I do love this minifigure with that name on the back. Now, this set is number. 75218, it is an X-Wing. I still have this one in the box. I do really like this X-Wing, so I did want to keep it in the box. But we do get a little bit different Luke here. He does have the special visor, which I haven't opened this set, but I really have been tempted to because I want to see what that visor looks like. And a lot of people had some controversy about that visor. I personally liked it. I obviously haven't seen it in person yet, but I do think it would be a really cool look having the actual orange visor. So unfortunately, we only did get this once because the fans were not a fan of it. And that is the last we saw of that Luke Skywalker. This set did retail for $79.99 back in 2018. So we'll see if we get any Luke's helmets like that in the future. Beautiful, uh, big, big Rebel insignias, beautiful helmet piece. And we'll move on to the next set. Another Luke Skywalker in the Rebel Pilot outfit. This is from Episode 5, and this is another 20th anniversary set. However, Luke Skywalker himself is not 20th anniversary. Name plated on the back like the other one was. This is the Snowspeeder 75259. Came out in 2019 for $39.99. Wonderful set. Haven't built it yet. Uh... I'm trying to keep these 20th anniversaries in the box. But, of course, the Luke Skywalker, very similar to what we'll see with the AT-AT uh, Walker, which actually it is the exact same, exact same figure. And, of course, the last of the Rebel Pilot outfits, we do have this, this Lego Luke minifigure. This is from Episode 5. This is actually the AT-AT Walker 75288, retailed for $159.00. Beautiful minifigure here, though, I would say. Beautiful helmet. A lot of detail on that piece. And he did come with two-sided heads. Like I mentioned, they didn't use the, the same helmet as before. So we do have this nice piece here. If I can... There we go. One of those Luke minifigures being the Hoth Medical Chamber Bath the Tank Luke minifigure from 75. 203. This is the set came out in 2018, retailed for $29.99. Of course, we get a very scantily clad Luke Skywalker as he's in the BAFTA tank recuperating. Uh, he does have two heads, that one more battered up head, as well as a very battered up head with the respirator on, which I think is really cool. Standard Luke hairpiece. But overall, I think that set is a that figure is a really nice figure, which is one of the main reasons I'm keeping this set in the box. And of course, a really nice set here. We have set 75208 Yoda's Hut. This set came out in 2018, retailed for $29.99. And this is the Yoda training Luke minifigure. So he has his undershirt on. He can also hold Yoda in his little backpack, which is pretty cool. I believe he does have two heads. I can't imagine he wouldn't at this point, but he does have the sweet pockets on his on his knees. Uh, the really good minifigure here. Last episode five minifigure, of course. I'm sure most of you are aware of this one if you're aware of Lego at all. This is the Bespin Duel 75294, retailed for $39.99, came out in 20 20, of course, this was the Star Wars Celebration Lego set. Beautiful Lego. Beautiful Luke figure here. 
Unfortunately, did not have arm printings. I think it would have been really cool for him to have arm printings. But he does have the pockets on the chest, pockets on the knees. And the very worried face as he is facing off with Darth Vader. I wasn't too sure which set this came from, uh, but I'm pretty sure this Luke came from set number 4480, released in 2003 for $30. And that is Jabba's Palace. Of course, he did come with the hairpiece. Also came with the cape, but as you can imagine, over 17 years, you might lose things. Pretty sure I lost the hairpiece and the cape. But this is uh, one of the last yellow Luke minifigures that we see is... Uh, you can tell, I believe I have three yellow ones, original yellow figures. Definitely a great figure. Up next, we have Jabba's Sail Barge Luke from Episode 6, set number 6210, released in 2006, sold for $74.99. This is an amazing set. A lot of minifigures, a lot of good memories with that set. Beautifully large Jabba's Barge, and of course, a wonderful Luke minifigure. No cape. But he did have that classic Lego hairpiece, and he was in color. However, still had the same Luke that Luke face that we're used to seeing. Simple Lego face, but that skin color, which is really great to see. And I know the moments you've all have been waiting for. The last Luke that I have is the Octo Luke. This Luke is set number seven five two hundred, released in two thousand eighteen. A year after The Last Jedi came out. Now, regardless on your feelings of The Last Jedi, this is a wonderful Luke minifigure. He has the nice, long, flowing hair of the hairpiece. And he does have a dual-sided face. A little angry and determined. Probably angry when he was trying to teach Rey and she didn't know squat. But that's beside the point. And then, of course, the staff that he uses that we see in the figure in the set and in the movie, of course. So that rounds it out for our Luke minifigures. If you have a favorite Luke minifigure, please let me know. Or if you have a favorite Star Wars figure in general, I'd love to hear it in the comments below what your thoughts are. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed my Luke minifigure Lego collection. Remember to like and subscribe, check out our other videos, and always remember to keep it live.